Hey everybody, today is Friday, June 14th, and today Microsoft actually released their Office Mobile version of Microsoft Office for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review of that system for you guys and the app running on iOS 7 on my iPhone 5. So, first off, before I even open this app, basically the app is free for iPhone only right now. I'm sure it'll come to iPad and iPod Touch later in the summer, but basically to use the app you have to have an Office 365 subscription so for the first month you can actually sign up for free and have a month free trial which I am doing right now just to test out the app but other than that you're gonna have to pay $9.99 per month to actually use office mobile on your iPhone or iPad and iPod touch when that version is released and based off this review I can I'm gonna let you guys know whether or not it's worth it and you can make your own decision based upon whether or not it's worth it or if you simply want to stick with the iWork or other um, office mobile apps for iPhone iPad and iPod touch so go ahead and open up the app here as you can see you have a nice little screen there and up comes a pop-up asking if you want to improve it so I'm going to hit no thanks and down here along the bottom the first thing you will notice is you have a recent tab an open tab a new tab and a settings tab here on the settings tab you can scroll down it has a copyright information you can submit information to improve office edit privacy settings, view the terms of service, view about Microsoft Office Mobile, and view help and support. You can also reset Office and you can enter a username to actually show your identity when adding comments or editing documents, which is very nice. Um, you also up here can see your activation information about Office Mobile and there's the logo for Office Mobile in the upper left there. Here you can, it's a new uh, tab so you can create all new documents. You can create Excel documents, blank documents, and Word documents. Um, I'm not sure how to do PowerPoint in this because I'm, I think you need to actually uh, drag a PowerPoint document into this for to edit it, but I'll be getting that to that in a little bit. Here you can go to open, you can actually open a SkyDrive or you can add a place, as you can see someone has their SkyDrive um, already uploaded. So you can add a place uh, by clicking here and you can add a, add a SkyDrive in Office 365 SharePoint or a SharePoint. And finally, you can go to Recents here, and you can see all of these documents. So I'll show you how a sample document works up. Actually, you don't even need to drag a presentation in here for PowerPoint. You can see PowerPoint right there. So I'll click a sample document here. And this is what it looks like. You can scroll down and view the document, as you can see, which is very cool. You can also just tap to edit directly in the document. Well, actually, let me click here you have to actually click the right button to edit it up in the upper uh, middle right there and then you can simply tap around and type in anything that you want to go back in here and click that again as you can see if you double tap that you get a format button which you can scroll down change the underline settings etc highlights etc you can make that go away by clicking right there uh, you can also click here to get viewing options for outline view or find which is very nice and you can also click here to actually share it save it or save as in the upper left here so that's great and as you can see it scrolls very smoothly it looks very great here uh, to highlight it's just how you would imagine you can double tap and move it around if I can do it here as you can see by doing that you can add comments but there you go double tap and scroll around to highlight anything you can scroll down here and look at it such as that I'm going to go ahead and click done here and go back uh, this is what a sample spreadsheet looks like just like how you would expect you can have all the edit features up here in the upper right and you can switch between tabs and sheets down there in the lower uh, section and just tap in any cell that you want to edit it and finally here's a sample presentation uh, as you can see you can scroll to the left and right simply like that which is very nice and uh, you can edit it how you would expect up here and just type in anything that you want etc drag it drag things around so overall as you can see here's the editing overall I think this is a very nice app um, in terms of editing documents now opening as you can see you just add places again it'll allow you to open any documents and you can simply click new here go to a word document as you can see, iOS 7 and this app are still a little buggy, so you can click New here and click Word Document, and it will open a new document, etc. Um, I am not sure how to do this for PowerPoint right now because it's not there, but I assume you have to drag your PowerPoints into the app. But overall, I think this is a great app. Microsoft really went all out by making this free, considering that you need a subscription to use it to Microsoft 365. In my opinion, if you are a heavy Office user, $10 a month is a great deal, and I probably will just stick with this app over the iWork apps. But if you are wanting to save money and you want to use the iWork apps, those work great.
great too. And uh, yeah, overall, Microsoft did a great, great job. This all syncs to the cloud as well, so all of your information is saved in the cloud. And I think Microsoft Office is great, and it works in the cloud. It works everywhere. You can edit your documents everywhere, and I love that Microsoft finally released Office Mobile for iPhone and iOS, as well as iPad and iPod Touch coming soon. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up, as well as favorite for more content. I upload weekly videos on iOS 7 and Apple in general, as well as anything to do with Apple. So be sure to subscribe for that. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my vlog channel on the description. Those are all great ways to stay in touch with me, guys, and I will be updating you guys a lot more on there as well as on YouTube, so follow me on those sites. And also be sure to leave a comment or anything else if you have concerns in the description. And check out my channel and the description for more videos on iOS and Microsoft Office Mobile as well as anything to do with Apple. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.